Certifications, certifications, certifications. A lot of you guys are taking certifications right now and you guys are probably struggling or you guys are maybe taking too much time when it comes to getting your certification. If you guys are looking to get a certification, it the more I think about it, you have to get it fast. The longer it takes you to get a certification, for example, the CCNA certification, it should not take you more than five months to get it. And the reason I say this is there's so much information that's jam-packed in a lot of these certifications. The quicker you do it, the easier it is. The easier it is. So if you guys are looking at certifications, please do them as fast as you possibly can. Right? If it takes you a year or two years, that doesn't make any sense. Certifications have to be done quickly, like extremely fast. And that's kind of, let me tell you a little bit about my story real quick, about my studying mistakes when it came to the CCNA certification. So when I first got my CCNA, right, before I got it really, I was essentially, you know, here and there studying, you know, doing the bare minimum, wasn't really going hard on it, right? And then I got to the point where I was like, huh, like, um, I, I really haven't, like, what am I taking the exam? Like, in the back of my head, I'm like, I do have to take an exam, and I, and I, but I felt comfortable in the fact that I, that I was just studying. At the end of the day, we're taking these certifications, which you already know my, my, my case with certifications and how the, the value, it has diminished, but there's still some value in certifications. The thing is, you have to move quick. You, you can get the CCNA in three months, right? With enough hard work and, and a really good study plan, extremely easy to do that. But the problem is people extend it out. And the longer you extend it out, the more likely you're going to struggle. And I say this for one particular reason, because it's jam-packed with information and you kind of, the way with certifications, you're going to have to like do a lot of prep work in a very short period of time because it's going to be easier for you to pass that exam when you do all this prep work in a very short period of time. So for example, the CISSP that I recently took, a lot of people say, oh, it takes like a year or two years to study. I think I spent maybe two months of just hard study. And that is the easiest way. You know, I believe in cramming. Cramming actually works. Cramming actually works. You know when people say, oh, don't cram, don't cram for your exam. Cramming is one of the easiest way to pass your exam. Because you're jam-packing all this information, you know, you're hyper, like you're in this elevated state of learning. You take the exam, you pass the exam, whatever. Right, at the end of the day, if you ask me to maybe take the CISSP again today, in full honesty in my heart, heart of heart, I would fail the exam. But, in that state that I had when I, right before I took the CISSP, I was cramming, I was studying until two, three in the morning, just going crazy. Right before that exam, maybe I was at like a level 90% because I was just, you know, you know how when, when racers, before they go into a track, like a track and field event, they kind of get warmed up, right? It takes some time, right? Like, I don't know if you guys watched the, the recent, um, like 100 meter race. I don't know if you guys are into track and field or the Olympics. I mean, these sprinters, you know, they heat, they hit peak conditions at certain times of the year, right? So if you guys want to be able to pass exams, you want to be able to peak right before that exam starts, right before you take that exam. And then at the, at the time, at the time you, you crush the exam, and then at that point, you're going to dwindle because most people don't want to admit this. If you ask me to take the CISSP again today, I would fail it, mainly because I'm not in the mindset that I was right before I took that exam. So the thing when it comes to certifications, you want to be at this elevated mindset to the point where you're like, you know, you're crushing it, you're cramming it, you're studying it, you're spending time. Like that is the easiest way to pass it. And that's the easiest way to pass it fast. You got to move fast. The slower you move, the more likely you are going to fail. This is probably untraditional advice. Most people say, hey, don't cram, don't cram. I mean, I've tried the cramming route. I've tried the long form study route where you extend it out. Cramming has always worked. It has always worked for me. And like I said, this is all anecdotal evidence that has worked for me. And I've seen other, my friends who cram, they are, are more successful when it comes to exams because you are taking an exam. Certifications are an exam. And if you're pass, if you want to, if your goal is to pass an exam, 
cramming is the only way, as opposed to just there's cramming and then there's learning. To be able to pass to learn it, it's going to take time, of course. Cramming is is a way of jam pack yourself with information and knowledge and test prep and all that stuff. By the time you get to the exam, you're going to crush it. So that's what I recommend when it comes to certifications. You don't learn from certifications at the end of the day because most people they get their certification and they, they everything goes out of their mind, right? So you want to you obviously if you want to learn, you learn it, right? But to pass the exam, and this video is about passing the not learning. You're gonna have to cram because after a while of learning, you you can spend three years learning and take the exam. What does that mean? Nothing, right? So I would say cramming is the easiest way to do that, right? Doing a bunch of mock exams, and I would spend like if you see my recent CISSP video, I spent a lot of time talking about mock exams. Why? Because when you take an exam, when you take when you take the CISSP or CCNA or CCMP, you're taking an exam. You're not. You're not doing anything else. So why don't you do exactly what you need to do to pass the exam? Right. If you're if you're a sprinter, you you're going to spend all your time sprinting. I'm assuming. If you're a basketball player, you're going to spend all your time playing basketball, not watching film. Obviously, film is important, but what's more important, watching film or playing the game? So playing the game. What's playing the game for a certification? Is it watching YouTube videos? Is it, you know, doing some other activities that you think are useful, like reading a book? reading certification book, or is it taking practice questions that closely mimic the exam? You have to really ask yourself that sort of question. Because when you start thinking that way, you're like, okay, cool, this is what I need to do. And that is the easiest way to pass it fast. Another easy way is, obviously, I mentioned this so many times, book your exam. Please do that. Please book your exam. If you, if you don't book your exam, then you're not really serious, number one. Number two, you're not going to take the study seriously because you didn't put your money. And whenever you don't put your money where your mouth is, you're not going to pay attention to it. You know how you know how we are. Whenever you you pay for something for that's very expensive, like a certification that's like three hundred dollars, or you're, if you're crazy and you you buy the CompTIA certs that are complete ripoffs that are like five hundred dollars, you're going to start paying attention to it, right? So you got to remember that if you're taking a certification, pay for it right away. Start cramming. Put yourself under pressure. Put yourself under pressure. The more under pressure you are, the more likely you're going to start cramming and the more likely you are going to pass that exam. I know so many people, I mean, who spend years trying to get certifications. Complete waste of time. Time is our, our most valuable, our most valuable asset that we have. You can't buy back time. You cannot buy back time. So why are you spending so much time getting a certification? Getting a certification already is not a fun process, right? It's not a fun process. I know it takes time while it's studying. You need to speed that up as fast as you possibly can. And that's the easiest way is by cramming, by booking that exam ASAP, and then doing the activities that, that the goal is, which the activities are actually doing, the, doing practice exams is the only way you can mimic whatever the exam is going to be. So the more you do that, we're likely going to pass the exam. So after this video, if you're planning to get your CCNA, CCMP, CISSP, CompTIA, Net Plus, if you're crazy, because, uh, you know, if you, if you guys know, the CompTIA, Net Plus, I don't believe in that exam. It's a complete waste of time if you want to become a network engineer. But anyways, just side tangent. Um, if you are going to take these exams, by the end of this video, if you haven't booked them, then you're probably not going to be serious. So please book your exams as soon as possible after this call. Book your exam. Book it for three months from now, two months from now, whenever. If you haven't, if you're not willing to do that, you're not going to, like, what are you doing here? So that's what I wanted to say with you guys is that's how you're going to be able to pass a CCNA super fast or a CCMP or whatever, whatever exam, you, whatever cert you're, you're looking to get. That's how you do it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. It really means a lot. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or comments or you say this video sucks or whatever, Put it down in the comment section. If you guys want to, if you guys want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for you guys' support. It really means a lot from the bottom of my heart. And have, hope you guys have the best rest of your day. And peace.